All right, my friends, today we got some more gear from Sandmark. Yes, Sandmark. Uh, and this one is was sent to us for the iPhone 12. I have my 12 right here. It's my 12. You guys may see it. 12. Smaller, smaller cameras. 12. Um, but they but they are coming out with more gear for the iPhone 13, 13 Pro series, if you are at all interested. Um, I think once iOS 15.1 comes out, you're going to see that little toggle switch be reintroduced, it looks like, from what I've seen in the, all the betas. Uh, and it allows that macro toggle to get turned off so that it doesn't automatically switch from the normal lens to the alt the ultra wide which can be an issue when you're trying to use third-party lenses um, but this is this one's for the 12 so this is the fisheye lens edition iphone 12 pro so here's the lens here's the extra pro pro case mm -hmm. and uh we're going to take a look at it see how much of a difference it makes versus uh just the normal lens on the iPhone and the ultra wide. All right, coming up. Okay, guys. So here, here's their website, Sandmark. And again, you can come in here when you're shopping, kind of pick what you're looking at, right? If you have an iPhone 13 Pro, if you have an iPhone 12 Pro, uh, even 13 Pros, you can click on that right now, and you'll see all kinds of gear coming out for it, which is which is great. Um, but this is it. this is it here, the ultra wide, and this is their I say ultra wide, their fisheye because uh, it really will kind of give you that action cami type look if you use it in full, especially in the photos. Uh, I find from previously using fisheye type lenses, when you're in photo mode, you really start to see that curvature when it gets high in the image and really down low in the image. You do get it here for sure, but definitely up near the tops and, and at the bottoms. Uh, so in photos, you will definitely notice that curvature. Uh, probably not quite as noticeable, still noticeable in videos because of course, usually we're shooting 16 by nine versus four by three. So that means that bit of that top and the bottom is taken away and you get probably the widest and I wanna say straightest, even though it's not straight, uh, but straightest part of the image. So for those of us shooting video, this can really be good. Or if you are in a scenario where you just can't get any further backwards and you need that width, these these can come in handy as well. All right, so first off, um, well, let's little open this. This is this is it here. Uh, this is the for the iPhone 12. Comes with a comes with a little case, which is nice, and it comes a case for the lens and a case. Is that it? Yeah. So it and it does come with. This is their like their thin case that it that it comes with standard which is great, you guys can take a look at it. And I think it's a it's a lovely case, low profile. Um, when you go to their, this is their pro case. When you go to their pro case here, once I can figure out how to actually open it, because I'm gifted like that. Yeah, um, it's, it's just, you'll see that it actually has uh, the MagSafe band in it. So like if you, You'll notice that there's a magnet in it. You guys see that, right? So I can. So if you're rocking a phone like the iPhone 12 or 13 that has MagSafe, whenever you put a case on it, you uh, put distance between the MagSafe and the MagSafe accessory. Uh, this is going to put another magnet in there, which gives you extra MagSafe goodness. So if that's important to you, that's nice. And it's got a nice little, almost like a, a felt type lining on the inside which is kind of nice versus this one which is just plastic so but but we're gonna we're gonna use the, the standard one yeah and here's my iphone 12 and what we might actually do before we put this on we're we'll, we'll show you what comes in here but what we're gonna do is i'm more concerned about uh distance now if you don't want to use the case because you get a different phone or you're swapping between or you, you're not wearing this case wearing this case you're not wearing it your phone's not wearing it uh, and you realize, oh, I want to use my 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 fisheye. Well, they do come with like a little clamp adapter. You guys can see that, right? That's a little clamp adapter that you can put on. Um, 
it's kind of a, I would, I would always use this because it lines up the lens perfectly. But if you switch phones down the road or you're, you're go to a, I don't know, buddy's place and they want to use it, you can let them use this because it just screws in there and this clamps on and voila. All right. You also get a little microfiber cloth for cleaning your lens. And in this little baggie, it even labels it fisheye, just in case you were unaware. Like for me, I have their fisheye and their macro. So uh, when you take them out of the case, they're, they're similar enough that you would, it's nice having a label, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so this little lens cap on the back, lens cap on the front, nice. And before we put that on, before we put that on, we're going to take two two pieces. We're just going to put that over there. We're going to take the case here and this little adapter. Okay. And what I want to do is I'm going to see from, we'll start with just the normal height. So there's normal height. I'm just going to get those. I want to center that for you guys. So let's do this. So we'll put that there and that kind of there. Where am I? Right about there. So this is kind of the extremities. You guys are seeing that now, right? Uh, of what the standard gets. And if you go to video with the standard, same idea, right? Go back to photo. I think back to photo. Where's photo? There it is. Back to photo. Now if we go to the wide, you'll see, right? I'm getting uh, all the way up to, where am I here? Yeah, just kind of getting this tripod leg in here and a fair bit of my computer, but I'll move this over just so we can see it. There's there's the phone case, right? We get phone case kind of halfway in there. All right, we got an idea. We'll take it. We'll take a photo of that. Click as use as our as our reference. Okay, so now we're going to take that off and we're going to put we're going to put this on. So we're going to take this little cap. You see the cap here, right? Take the cap off the back. We're going to put, uh, of course I used both cases. I'll put my other phone here. Okay. Same spot. There you go. And we're putting this case on. It's a nice snug fit though. Fits good. No complaints. Right. And it's not, I like this too, cause it's low profile, which means even though it's got a camera bump. It's probably the same kind of camera bump as the i uh, i the i13, the iPhone 13 has on it. But it looks it looks nice. It's good. All right, and we'll take this and simply just it screws in on uh, I don't know which one it is. I think it's the ultra wide which is kind of cool. Is it ultra wide? Well, we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll put it in the ultra wide just to see. So if we went ultra wide, nope. So it's got to go into the standard. So if you guys weren't overly aware, and I've just smudged up my lens here, uh, looking at your camera, this is your normal wide, this is your ultra wide, and this is your telephoto. And that's on the 12, it switches around on the 13. So we're going into the top one, okay. So that will thread in there. All right, so same height oh my gosh like it's i can't even really get my you guys see that this is in video mode like I, it's it's a lot more you guys seeing that right it's a lot more info and if you go into photo mode like you can almost see my whole desk which actually makes kind of a you, you get to see the mess yeah I, you, you weren't meant to see that and if we tap this there we go so i'm gonna go aside we're just gonna take a couple shots couple shots of our, our backyard because then you can just get an idea too with photo and video what that kind of fisheye distortion and some people like that for those of you that are used to GoPro footage like I said or uh, used to things like skateboard videos this that's kind of that fisheye look all right let's let's go outside for a minute okay so I'm back uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, some clips up here while I'm talking about it you guys will, will see and I shot photos and videos and ultra wide uh, from this lens and the standard and ultra wide that are on the phone so all right here we go 
So it's unmistakable but that the iPhone actually takes a really nice photo and video when it's using its own lenses. So when it's using its uh, wide and then the ultra wide. Um, but if you need to get that extra reach, it is quite impressive as to uh, how much you can actually get when you are using the fisheye. It just broadens it substantially. Now, just realize, like like all fish eyes, you do get some uh, degradation, some softness in the corners. It is what it is. It's 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 super wide, and unless you're going to spend thousands of dollars on a fish eye, that's kind of what you're getting. And you also also the other thing to kind of realize is that you really notice the fish eye curvature. I think I was talking about it before, the fisheye curvature when items are closer. So when you're shooting, for instance, here, and let's say I had this in front of the, it, this on, a, on the outside of the shot, it would definitely, anything that has a straight, like vertical edge has a curve for sure. But if you're shooting, let's say landscape, uh, like this shot here, um, this, is, this is the ultra wide. This, this is the fisheye lens. And because there's nothing really on the outside, it's a nice level field. And I've got the horizon sitting nicely in the middle. So the, the middles of the fisheye, like the middle, the horizon, and the, this part, whatever, the vertical, um, no, no curvature there. It, the curvature gets harder as it gets closer to the corners. So if you can keep edges out of the corners, it's harder to notice that it's a big fisheye. So again, on this shot here, um, it actually looks quite good. And with a little bit of uh, editing software, you can actually probably correct some of that distortion as well. Um, but yeah, I think if you're just needing to get that fisheye look, it's a nice little lens for sure, nice little add-on. Um, or if you're someone that shoots a lot of wide open, like landscapey stuff, where you like to center align a lot of things, uh, this can also be really good because you're not gonna get a lot of distortion in that area. And again, if you can keep that horizon near the center and just have like big sky country kind of things, um, you're gonna get a super wide shot, like really nice and wide with uh, not a lot of that fisheye distortion. So that could be a win. Uh, this is the lens that, you know, is not for everybody, for sure. Uh, is it a lens that I'll use a lot? Probably not, but in scenarios that I need that extra width, uh, I could definitely see it useful. You know, we're actually gonna go on a uh, trip up to Cape Breton this coming weekend, and uh, I may actually bring it with me, possibly, maybe. Uh, just to see if we can get uh, some really cool wide open shots of all the, the leaves changing. Could be cool. All right, my friends, I I'm going to put links down below to Sandmark. Again, you know, they do lenses and gear for all kinds of smartphones, not just iPhones. iPhones is kind of their bread and butter. But take a look. If you're looking for some third party lenses because you are a phone photographer or you're a phone videographer, then... Uh, can definitely help up your game. All right, guys, links down below to Sandmark. And uh, that's it for me today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and we'll see you fine folks tomorrow. Later.